Adrian Peterson has etched his name into the record books, finishing only nine yards shy of the all-time single-season rushing record held by Eric Dickerson in 1984. Peterson ended up with 2,097 yards, just running out of space and time at the end of the game. However, he was integral in the victory over the Green Bay Packers, which helped propel the Vikings to a wild card playoff bird. Now, this eliminates Chicago and puts Washington in a dire straight position of having to beat the Dallas Cowboys tonight and win the Eastern Division in order to make the playoffs. So, the pressure is on RG3, thanks in part to the 2,097 yards put up by Adrian Peterson this season. Now, what is even more amazing about Peterson's performance this season was what happened in the final game against Washington at the end of the 2011 season. As we all can remember, Peterson went down with a brutal knee injury. Usually it takes a year before a running back even comes back, so he was expected not to start the season, although he had other plans. He was determined and he, he made it. Usually when a running back comes back, it takes him a while to get confidence in the knee to where he could plant and cut you know, with the same ferociousness as he did before the injury. However, this guy... He's a, in a class by himself, it seems. In fact, I don't know if Dickerson in 84 had to help secure a playoff victory in a tight game in Game 16 when he, he set that record. If I recall, that wasn't the case. I remember O.J. Simpson doing the game because it was his record which was being broken at the time up in the booth. So I actually think this was a more impressive rushing season, especially in the era of football we play right now. Right now, this is a passing league. The quarterback is the highest played position. The left tackle is the second highest paid position because he protects that blind side of the investment you have in quarterback. Of course, then you have cornerbacks. You have other offensive linemen. Um, running backs are like one of the least priorities, but this guy kind of brings that specialness back to the position. Even the great Barry Sanders, his teams never really won, and they weren't that good in the playoffs. I think this guy, Adrian Peterson, is a difference maker at the tailback position, and that brings a little old-school football, some old Walter Payton-type running back into the NFL, and that's kind of a nice thing. So congratulations to Adrian Peterson. That's 2,097 yards. You had... um. Only a couple other people, Barry Sanders, the gentleman from Tennessee, Johnson, O.J. Simpson, and Dickerson were the only other ones to rush for over 2,000 yards. So that's pretty special. Now, Jim Brown only played 14 games a season, so let's keep that in mind. And there were plenty of Walter Payton seasons, I think, that did not include 16 games. However, this is a really special... Um, effort by Peterson because he got this 2,097 yards while helping his team secure a playoff spot. And keep in mind, next year he's only going to get stronger. As far as the playoffs going forward, over in the AFC, you've got the number one seed, who would have thought it, Denver Broncos, Peyton Manning, another guy who comes off a major injury and gets right back to where he was. They finished 13-3. and three. You've got the Patriots, who finished 12-4 and in the playoffs. You've also got the Texans, who went down to the Colts today. They'll make a run at it. you got the fledgling Baltimore Ravens. We don't know what's going to happen there. In the NFC, who knows? The Vikings may be a force to be reckoned with. The Packers dropped to the number three seed. Um, San Francisco could regain the second seed if... Um, Seattle loses to St. Louis, which is, looks like it might be happening. That game's not concluded yet. And everything also depends on what happens with Washington and Dallas in the final Sunday night game. So once again, Adrian Peterson, 2,097 yards. What a day.